As California burns, New Zealand roasts and dries and droughts and severe weather events become more and more common. The big picture, the puppet master, if you like, is global warming. But a problem remains, subjectivity. How you react to global warming depends on what you believe, and that's not how science usually works. First, there's outright denial, although less and less of that, obviously. Then there's confusion about projections. How hot will it get? How bad will it be? But a major new study out of the Carnegie Institution for Science in California says the average figure, which is always used between the highest and the lowest, is wrong. It's worse than that, right up at the highest level of any projections. And to stop that being disputed, the study's authors created a model that had to prove its accuracy before they began to apply it. Dr. Patrick Brown is one of the co-authors of the study. Instead of taking the idea that, okay, every climate model gets essentially one vote, so that's kind of like climate model democracy. Instead of doing that, um, we took the strategy of saying, can we discriminate between well and poor performing models? And then does that tell us something about um, which projections are most likely to be accurate in the future? So some models perform more accurately than others. Fact, but how do you know which is which? Well, the answer is logical in the way of science. Find out which model most accurately simulated something where the answer is known. And in this case, it's the recent past. Yeah, so that might sound kind of counterintuitive to, to say, like, a model is going to predict the past because we know what the answer is, right? But the models are actually not pinned to observation. So there's no real reason why the models um, would necessarily do well at simulating the recent past because they're kind of these self-consistent uh, physical representations of reality um, that are independent of, of what's actually happened. So you can say, okay, if we put in the conditions of, um, you know, what the recent past basically has been in terms of like greenhouse gas levels, um, does the model accurately simulate the way, in this case, we're looking at these changes in the Earth's energy budget over seasonal timescales as well as monthly timescales? But does the model accurately simulate those things over this time period when we actually have observations to compare it to? So then we can actually assess how well the, the model is doing. So they did that assessment. They identified modeling with proven and demonstrable accuracy more than other modeling. And remember, the future is currently described as a kind of average of all the models, low and high, all thrown in to achieve a sort of average projection. So what did the most accurate modeling of the past tell us about our future? On average, in general, the models that do better over the recent past show more warming than the average model in the future. So by that measure, the average we're all working from now is low. The modeling with proven accuracy concludes there is a 93% chance that global warming will exceed 4 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. That's a way higher probability measure than we've ever seen before, way higher. Dr. Patrick Brown says this isn't political. Indeed, the whole point of working to find the most accurate modelling is to remove the subjective from the equation. The idea, as we face the planet's future, is to simply deal with fact. As a physical climate scientist, I just want people to understand that we are looking at this as seriously and um, objectively as possible. And so we want to put out the best um, just ground truth numbers that we can and we want people to trust us you know we don't there there's a problem especially in the United States where people don't trust climate scientists because they think that they're uh, like fudging the numbers or that they're just all environmental activists or something like that and that's I am very much aware of that I want to make sure that that is not the you know position that I am taking all I care about is that our results are more correct than other results. I, I want to be correct in the future. I want this paper to um, stand the test of time. Dr. Patrick Brown, it's fascinating that modeling they've come up with.